Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming into another video. All right, so I figured I'd do a therapy session. I don't know what's coming out of me as always. Hope everybody's enjoying their day, morning, night, whatever you're up to. Uh, I've been up for about an hour. Nothing really special going on over here at all. Um, I saw something that prompted me to speak, so I'm just gonna, as I always do, speak. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Glorilla, uh, the new artist out of Memphis. She's really doing her thing, um, you know, rapping and, and putting out some dope music and all of that good stuff. She's really caught a, uh, a wave. But what I've noticed, and I always talk about this, is what they do with the image of black people and black women particularly. And how I don't really think it's changed a whole lot from the Sambo days. It's just evolved their way of exploiting us has evolved and become more and more of the culture and acceptable rather than something that we're likely to buck back at. But what I've been seeing them do with her image over the last month or so has been very, very uh, frustrating, I guess is the word I want to use. Uh, I support, you know, anybody coming up out of the hood or any out of any situation and reaching their dreams, especially if they're in poverty. And so I don't know that she was in poverty per se. I don't I want to put a label on nobody, but I know she wasn't rich and she came out of a space that wasn't glamorous. And they're pulling up pictures from the era that was before now. And one of the pictures that they just dug up was her it looked like she was about two or three months pregnant and she doesn't have any children. So needless to say, that's going to paint her out to be a certain way or exploit her pain if she had a miscarriage or whatever. But whatever it is, it ain't positive. Whatever it is, it ain't meant to uplift her and make her look like an outstanding um, pillar of whatever. You know what I mean? It ain't it ain't meant to make her look good. It's meant to remind all of us of yet another stereotype that we uphold at times, which is that we don't follow through with whatever the pregnancy or don't take care of our kids or whatever. You know, black folks don't whatever they want to say. This is yet another example of that stereotype. And it's deliberately put out there uh, for someone that they're pouring a lot of investment money into to to provide yet another image that they want young girls to emulate or suggestive nature of what it is that should be factual about our community. We are this and therefore look at this example yet again. And like I'm like I said, I'm not mad at her. You know, she lives her life. She didn't release that photo. You know what I mean? And who knows what her situation was if she decided to abort her child. I don't judge. You know, I, mean? I don't I don't have a negative opinion about what I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what I can say is I have a negative opinion about it being released to us. I do. I don't like that. They did that. They put that out there for her. They didn't allow her to explain herself. They just put it out there and let the, the, the public do what they will with it. And they know how controversial abortion is in the black community. They know how controversial it is in general. They know what Kanye West mentioned in regards to abortion in the black community. These are some of the same publications that put his image in our face when they were, you know, going back and forth over a month and a half ago. So as you know, that was like something that changed my way of looking at media entirely. It, it opened my eyes to what it is that a lot of people have been talking about my entire life, which is media is a tool used by whomever uh, to, 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 to do whatever in regards to the minds of us. They want us to think a certain way. They'll use the media and they'll use their platforms as a tool to mold that mindset. And this is yet another example, just another example of them suggesting who we are, what we're about and what it is we should think of ourselves. And I am here to reject it. I was born to reject that energy. You know what I mean? Not to say that those stereotypes don't exist, but they shouldn't define. You know what I mean? Not at all. And so as I look at what they're doing with her image, I, re I realized a couple weeks ago was something else in regard in regard to her that I just thought was painting her out to be the wrong way. Now, granted, she said what she said. She felt what she felt, but they put it on camera. They let it be aired and they let it be blasted all over the place. So who knows what the agenda was? But she essentially said that she was eating. Yeah, forgive me. I just got to say what it is. Um. She was eating the, 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 the seeds of, of, of people she was involved with off of food. In an interview, she said this. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about no fruit seeds. You understand what I'm saying? She was doing something, saying something that you probably only see in, in, ex, in very, very explicit pornography. But she was saying that for the world to see. Whoever was watching the interview, whatever the interview was, 
I don't know if it was, you know, I don't remember what the interview was, so I ain't going to sit up here and say they were marketing the children. But I will say this. If Glorilla is on something, you're going to have children who are watching it. I will say that it may not be geared toward children. It may not be their demographic, but you best believe you best believe some little girls going to be watching and clicking on it because it's her. And they look up to her. And the thing that bothers me about them looking up to her is that the powerful image that they're aspiring to look up to is not the positivity that she wants to display to the world, but the entertainment that is being invested in her dreams. That entertainment money that's being invested in her as a rapper is what she's able to show. And that, my friends, forces her to uphold some sort of entertainment identity when addressing what the public. And that, my friends, does not take into account the low blowing reactions that don't come from a place of PR at all. If anything is meant to shake up her PR. You know what I mean? They shake it up so that she can look unbalanced within it and then have to cop please for whatever it is that she either did or just look stupid for doubling down on the ignorance. It's supposed to be all entertainment, but when you are an example. It ain't entertaining as it pertains to those who walk away saying, see, that's who they are. That's why we need to lowball them. That's why we don't need to invest in their education. That's why we need to continue being racist. That's why we need to continue to keep ourselves away from them because they're going to bring that whatever that is to us. And while it's really fun when it's blasting through our speakers and our phones, it ain't fun when it's knocking on our doors. So they want to keep us away from them. They want to keep us out of their schools. And these are the examples that make them feel that that is the thing that they should want. And that has been understood for as long as this country has been in place because it's the type of propaganda that they've kept in place to keep their own hating us. And looking at us as if we can't do nothing leverage wise in this world. Look at us if we can't be solutions to anything below frequency entertainment. And what I'm telling you is I don't know if Gloria, but I know she has more to offer as she grows than what it is that they're going to make us have in our minds about her for the rest of her life based on what they're doing with her image as a young girl who's trying to live her dreams and gain her money. When she's 35, 50, 60 years old, it's still going to be the pictures. It's still going to be that conversation about her eating whatever she ate. It's still going to be on the Internet for us to click, click on and Google. And if she happens to be any kind of relevant, that's going to be one of the first things we see 20 years from now. This is what I understand. A lot of these kids, they don't know that. They're not thinking about that. They think today is forever. And I'm telling you, today just passed just a minute ago. It's already the future. The moment we stop thinking about what just happened, we already move on. So what I'm telling you is some of this stuff just lingers forever. It's one of the reasons why I'm, on, I'm not on Twitter right now. Being married to an opinion that I had when I was 17 and I can't erase it for all time. I can't even edit it in the moment and I can't delete it right after I do it. I ain't that type of stupid. When we live in a world where anything you you say can be used against you in a court of law and you think I'm going to use Twitter, that seems stupid to me when y'all first got started with it. And it still seems stupid to me. This is verbal entrapment. I will. I dare not. I dare not. And then not only that, but it's in text form. So you know how things can be taken out of, out of context when you read it. You know that. I know that. So why would in the hell would I let that be my social media, you know, tool of choice? I would never... Never. That made sense. To, that didn't make sense to me when I was a child, when Twitter first came out or a young person. Read, you know, damn well, it seems stupid to me now as I've seen it play itself out. People getting canceled because of what they say on Twitter. It's the old tweets being pulled up from 15 years ago. Man, please. I saw that coming when I was back then. Norms that ain't normal. And I'm telling you, man, the way they play with the black image right now. It's just as bad as the Sambo days. It's even worse in some cases. Big lips. They they do everything they can to make us look like violent, ignorant, slow creatures. Everybody they pour the most money into is ignorant as they can be. Ignorant as they can be. And my thing is, look, I'm ignorant, too, in some areas, but I can't be the example when I'm displaying that ignorance. I can't be. The, you should not be investing six to seven million dollars into my image if all I'm on display is low frequency. That is a culture in place that isn't right. It never was. We have to reject these invested images. 
of our people, not because we don't appreciate our people, not because we don't appreciate the come up. It's because they continue to reinforce who they want us to be by way of these examples. And we don't usually want to create, recreate the wheel. So we just uphold the culture that they invest in by way of these examples. And we haven't figured out that we need to override it. And that's why I talk this way as much as I do. Because it's not enough it's for us to just have conversations. It starts with black people. Black people got to stop upholding. Code. Yes, but you got to understand every time you turn on the radio, turn on the TV, they're putting the thought in your head. They're messing with your psyche. So while you're sitting there trying to figure out how to think your way through it, maybe you're successful, but your brother ain't, your cousin ain't, your nephew ain't, and they know that. And the walls are closed in on your woke mind by way of those who are of low frequency around you. And they continue to invest in that because for every one woke person there's eight sleep ones you see what i'm saying this is why it's important that this message get out more we need to be louder than them and their publications the 976 publications that they use to smear a black person when they feel like it those are the same publications they use to tell you that you're this or that or uphold what you should think is good and normal or uphold what you think you should feel about yourself and others should feel about you as well You can think your way around that only but so much, but eventually you got to understand they are in your subconscious. And most importantly, they're in each other's subconscious, too, about you in regards to how you should be treated. And how much your humanity should be worth to all of us. I feel sorry for Glorilla because it's going to be a long time before she actually understands what it is I just said and how she's been exploited. It's going to be a long time. Some of the ones that were exploded 15 years ago, they still ain't none the wiser. I'm watching them. They, they was exploited 20 years ago to make us look bad and to make themselves look bad. And 20, 20 years later, they still ain't none the wiser. They still upholding the same stuff. And I'm telling you, it's because generations before them did the same thing. All life long, went into their graves comfortable and let that relay continue to pass. And I'm telling you, no, we're going to stop that here. We're going to stop it right here. We will normalize rejecting the culture that they've provided of who we are by picking the worst of us and pouring the most money into us. Picking the absolute lowest frequency, violent, vile versions of our people and giving all the marketing dollars into their image, into their culture and into their dreams. And if you do it enough times, you'll drown out the smart ones. You'll drown out the ones who are actually believers. You'll drown out the ones who are actually influencers because it'll be so many low frequency cash chasing, sex chasing, drug addict killers. If their investment wasn't in place, word of mouth amongst us would just make it so that we would probably get the message done eventually. But as long as that shit is pumping through our speakers. It's in our heads. As long as we continue to be confused about whether or not we need to be doing certain things that literally lead us into prison, literally lead us into cages in jail. If we're confused about whether or not we should do that on any level, they got us. And I'm telling you, they continue to invest in these people. They're continuing to invest into the exploitation, promotion and otherwise empowerment. Of those who are meant to not only make us look bad, but reinforce to the world that we are bad and should not be given what we are deserving of, not to be paid what we are owed or have earned. It's a leverage conversation. And a lot of us don't even know the first thing about leverage to know that we're being schemed against in regards to it. But that is it's what is happening to you, black America. It's what has always happened to you. They take what it is that you provide in value. And then they belittle and, 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 and diminish that value in the eyes of who's watching. Then they uphold what it is that's good and what it is that you do. Your, your content, your, your, your uh, cadences, your rhythms, your, your, your slang. They take that. But then they take the image of you. Just the same. And place that away from what it is that they've extracted from you. 
They keep your culture and they take your body, they take your mind and they imprison it. While making money off of that culture. And then they make you look, feel like it's your fault by way of this ecology. And look, we can do things better, sure. But it starts with us turning off the radio, turning off the music, turning off the TV phone, all that. We got to get to a point where none of their influence is in the way of our intent. And then we can say after that, if we haven't changed our ways, then we need to hold ourselves accountable. We need to be better. But as long as that stuff is there, as long as they're continuing to invest billions of dollars into the notion that we should uphold the destruction of ourselves. Then we're always going to be at a disadvantage no matter how much thinking we do. Reject their marketing dollars. That's how we fight this. My name is BDF44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.